all you true blue believers and Sega fanatics alike, your district attorney Sonic fan here with a Sonic Mania update out of nowhere. Okay, not really out of nowhere because this has been out for a while and we all expected something from SXSW and I'm also pretty late with it, but without further ado, let's get right into this video. So, first and foremost, Sonic Mania is getting a new package version called Sonic Mania Plus. This is finally what we wanted, the physical edition of the game and Sega knew that we wanted because, oh man, in my mind, when I heard physical edition of the game, I was sold. I'm buying this. I will buy this game again. I do not give a rat's Gluteus Maximus. I will definitely buy this. This has a lot to it already. Sonic Mania Plus has, for one, a reversible holographic cover that has Genesis memorabilia all over it, and then it comes with a 32-page art book, and I love art books. There's also a little extra thing, probably a replacement for the game manual, but who cares? Plus, physical edition means that you can store it somewhere, show it to your friends, and be like, uh, look at my cool stuff. Now, on top of that, this is an expansion. This comes with two extra characters for Sonic Mania, Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel. This is exciting because that's going to bring new ways to play the game. And on top of that, on top of having new ways to play the game, they're adding more new ways to play the game. <laughs> oh man. They're going to be adding two new modes, Encore Mode and 4-Player Competitive Mode. Now, Encore Mode is said to do some things to the stages that we're not going to be expecting using some visuals and some other things that we haven't seen in the game before, so that's pretty exciting. I'm wondering if this is going to be maybe like a random generator, like a random stage generator, which would be really cool. Or maybe something where they do, where they change up the bosses in the stage. I think that would be a little bit too lazy to be giving it Encore Mode, but hopefully it's something to accommodate for the two new characters. And now with competitive mode, there's going to be a four player version of it. And that's just exciting because competitive mode was already fun to play with friends. And now having two more people, this is just amazing. Especially if you're someone who owns a Switch. So if you have the controllers for that, just nonstop. If you need to duke something out, not in Smash Bros, you're going to Sonic Mania first. Until Smash Bros finally comes out. But that's besides the point. This is just really amazing. Now the only thing I could possibly ask for is online mode for competitive. Because I would love to play with my friend online instead of having to wait to either go over to their place or go over, come over here. I mean, that does bring a nostalgic feel, you know, couch co-op, those kind of things, but I want, I want to be able to fight my friends online. The next big thing is that they announced Sonic Mania Adventures, which is going to be a five-part animated series done by Tyson Hess, and this is going to be amazing because I've already seen the sneak preview, I've, I have it playing throughout the video. If you haven't already seen it, you want to see it with the sounds and everything, I'll leave a link in the description, and I can't wait for it. So in like the next 29 days or so, we're going to be getting our first episode of this, and I can't wait to see what this will do for the story of Sonic Mania. Maybe like actually cut in some ties between the stage transitions because there are some awesome stage transitions in Sonic Mania and then other times we just go, it, the screen goes black and then we're just in the next stage. Finally, there is an announcement for a new Sonic game. Well, not really a Sonic game, we're not sure yet. Possibly a Sonic game, possibly a new Sonic racing game. As you can see, clips of the Speedstar, the, the car that Sonic drives in Sonic All-Stars Racing, having its engine revved up and then this flaming R that comes out of nowhere. So, possibly another Sonic Racing title, of course, but who knows what the actual title will be? It could be Sonic All-Stars Racing Transformed and Knuckles featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series, but actually, I should say more featuring Persona 5 protagonist because Sega has had a collaboration and also publishes Persona 5. That'd be interesting to see. I, there's already a car that is drivable in the game, so that's possibly going to be one of the cars featured in the game if it is a game. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Before I go, I want to apologize for everyone with the lack of content lately. It's been harder for me to make videos due to work, school, and mostly because I've had problems with my laptop. And I've actually gotten a new laptop recently with which will make it easier for me to make videos, but I don't know how often I will be uploading because I still have a lot of things to do. Now, to ask for your forgiveness, I'm gonna be doing something I've been wanting to do for a while. I'm going to be hosting a giveaway. Now, this is in light of the new announcement for Sonic Mania. I'm going to be giving away a code for Sonic Mania on PS4. Whether or not I do giveaways for Xbox One, PC, and the Switch version of the game, that's up in the air because I'm not the richest guy around. But hopefully people will appreciate the fact that I am giving away a free code for the PS4. PS4 version of the game. So hopefully you guys like it. I'll be hosting it through Gleam. I'll be leaving a link in the description below if you are interested. And good luck to anyone that's trying to win themselves a free copy. So that's pretty much it for now. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. And if you want more information on Sonic News, please subscribe for more. I will try to keep up. And with that, peace out.